The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Manx ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. If he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super-heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! Will do. This ain't a stealth mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and fast. Roger that. Oh, yeah. Activate the auto turrets! Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. up there to cover you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Titus. Stand down. Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. I hope I kill Big job! Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Atsha, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop them. Oh, here I go. 
Our allies are being attacked. You also love this. talk this much, sir? Yeah, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, now that's done with. I'm gonna take me a little break. Good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. is down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. You reckon these Dominion boys will put up a fight this time? I ain't barely book a swear. I can't wait 
to dig into that. Uh, scientifically, I mean. I'm not going to eat it. is gonna get tricky. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base, and the Odin doesn't have strong anti-air capabilities. We should have enough wraiths to handle it. But let's scramble a couple more just to be sure. Now that was fun. <laughs> Don't worry, old buddy. I'll give you some time to catch up. Well, I'll be. Most of it in their case, we did not everything. Pardon me a moment. Base is under attack. Whoa, they're all over me. Lunar field depleted. There we go. <laughs> you ready yet? I hope you're reading this, Jimmy, because I'm heading for the last base now. Additional supply depots because they're speed geyser exhausted. Our allies are our SCVs are under attack. In the rear, what's going on? Secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll trust old Tigus with a little bit of mayhem. That's about all I trust you with, Tigus. Well, you fought real good out there, Tigus time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. <laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Your boy, Horner, is actually pulling this off. Gotta say, I'm mighty impressed. So how does the Odin raid as a fighting machine? Brother, it is the single greatest creation in the history of mankind. Striding around and dispensing righteous fury just about brought a tear to my eye. You just let me know when I can take it out for another spin. 
You'll get your chance soon enough, old buddy. Don't you worry. Ever wonder why Minx don't just send him ghosts to kill ya? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. <laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your hate for him. Of course, his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rayner. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. So Swan, what are the chances we can build something like that Odin? You nuts? No way we've got the facilities for mass producing hardware on that scale. And here I was thinking you could build anything, Swan. Shoot. All right, forget the scale. I'm gonna figure it out, don't you worry. And I'll come up with something a damn sight more practical than that showpiece. You see if I don't. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt? You need to get a hobby. Seriously, sir. His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into? We have the Odin. Now we can use it to spearhead our takeover of the UNN studios on Core Hall. Once the Odin has taken out their defenses, we'll broadcast our evidence against Mengsk. Figure they'll throw everything they have at us. They'll be talking about this one for years. Our raid on the Valhalla facility hasn't even been reported yet. The Dominion have no idea we stole the Odin. I had to call in every favor I had, but I got the Odin on the surface, with Tychus inside. Matt, you're a miracle worker. Must have been a complicated operation. You don't even want to know, sir. I'm not gonna let anything keep us from exposing Minsk. So they're still expecting to film it at the UNN studios later today? That's right. And we won't disappoint them. Seeing as he's the only one with experience, Tychus will pilot the Odin and hit the studio guards with a surprise attack. They'll be confused for several minutes, and won't even know who to attack at first. And during the confusion, we'll establish a forward base using this command center we acquired earlier. Pretty devious, Matt. I like it. If Tychus can inflict enough damage during the sneak attack, making the broadcast should be relatively easy. Keep in mind, we'll only have a few minutes before the Dominion realize that Tychus is in the Odin. Once they figure it out, they'll use everything they've got to stop us. Whatever happens, we'll be giving Mex one hell of a broadcast. Let's do this. I'm in the Dominion security network. Bringing up their locations now. All right, Takis. Do your thing. Thought you'd never ask. Attention rogue pilot, this is General Warfield of Dominion Command. You're ordered to stand down or face immediate termination. Big dog is off the leash. Heavy duty. I like it. Ragnarok and roll. Breath of God. In 
their positions anymore. But I have gained access to the UNN network. We need troops to stay close to one of the broadcast towers long enough to get our message out. For our broadcast to reach all of Dominion space, we'll need to control each broadcast tower long enough to upload the data. Any unit type can maintain control. You can bet Max will have something to say about that. Let's get moving. Job. Our base is up and running. I'm transferring control of it to you now, sir. Let's see what this baby's got. SCV ready. Hardware inbound. These stores are smaller than the Odin, but they handle better and they still hit hard. Enjoy. That big dog is all mine. Ah! You scared me! You followed me home. Can I keep it? Upgrade is complete. Security breach at one of the towers. Strike Team Alpha, engage. Stop them. Gotcha. Huh? Yeah! Let's see what this baby's got. Like room of the big dog. It followed me home. Let's see what this baby's got. Best additional supplies in front. Our SCVs are under attack. Not enough First transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Incoming transmission. There's only one man arrogant enough to think he can get away with this. Rainer. Ha! Huh. Just for once, Arcturus, this really is all about you. I hope you enjoy our show. I knew it. Warfield, get your men down there. I want Rainer's head, you understand? Him and all his terrorist friends. Four is here! Yeah! Four is here! <laughs> 
They're attacking a tower. Strike Team Bravo. Take them out. Let's see what this baby has got. The is here. They followed me home. Can I keep it? Play through the big dog. done transmitting Mech's dirty little secret to the Dominion. It's making potholes! Mineral field depleted. Thank you, rock and roll. Strike Team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. Transmissions have been sent, sir. Every world in the Dominion just got a UNN special bulletin about thanks. These shocking revelations, veritable firestorm of anti Mengs sent. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. How do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Abusing aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I won't stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. You want us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Lockwell here, live from Core Hall. 
There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Tarsonis. I had a brother there. Um, I, um... Right. Uh, th th thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, okay. Emperor Menx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He's since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Mengsk has been revealed as a... <laughs> you see? Told you I could build something better than that piece of crap Odin. I like that. That's the spirit, brother. Show him who's boss. Got some work to do on the chassis still. But I got to thinking about upgrades and variants, you know? They ain't gonna be cheap, cowboy. Big honking thing like that never is. But they'll be worth it, you'll see. That's what I like to hear. I'll take a look and see what's affordable. Those classified documents we found on Core Hall weren't anything special. Just referred to some old bioweapons lab orbiting Castanar. I think this one might be different. The file suggests they were planning to terminate everyone who ever worked there. I assume that doesn't mean firing them. But why would Menx want to kill a whole research staff? I don't know. But it seems like something we should check out. It does indeed. Well, so you're thinking about giving up this life of luxury and becoming a professional broadcaster? Oh, regular folks just ain't ready for the raw sex appeal I'd unleash into the great little lives. I reckon my niche is right here with you, old buddy. Right to the end. I'm glad you're part of all this, Tychus. You did real good today. Classified documents we found on Core Hall imply the Dominion has a top-secret bioweapons lab on an orbital platform at Castanar. If the Dominion is cooking up a big surprise for us, I'd like to know about it. So what's the scoop on this top-secret death lab? This asteroid is registered as a beryllium storage warehouse. But that must be a cover for the Dominion's bio lab. Let's hope so. We'd look pretty silly coming all this way for a few tons of beryllium. Did those documents give us any clues as to what the Dominion's cooking up in there? No, sir. But they did contain some of the facility's security codes, so we may be able to hack into their systems. Sounds fun. Well, as long as we're here, we may as well take a look. Sir, parts of the facility seem to be scan shielded. Our signals are breaking up left and right. Be careful in there. Hey, careful's my middle name. <laughs> I thought it was Eugene. <laughs> Shut it, Matt. All right, boys. Stay frosty. Sell me. Surprise, surprise. The door's sealed. Nothing a little breach in charge won't cure. Raiders roll. Break it down. Time to man. What's up? Talk. This facility is strictly off limits. Raider? Not today, buddy. What's up? Sell me. <laughs> Fry any rebel you see. Looks like we got a reception committee waiting for us. Adjutant, activate those gun turrets and give them a surprise. System accessed. Decrypting security overrides. System control established. Well, we got half the guns. Should take some of them out at least. What's the plan? Sounds like a plan. Been waiting on you. Break it down. 
Talk to me. Raiders roll. What's up? What's up? What's the plan? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh my god. Don't kill me. These creatures, they ain't like any Zerg I've ever seen before. Matt, scan their biosignatures. Hold on. The signal's weak in there. Wait. Sir, I'm reading both Zerg and Protoss DNA. Were those things assimilated somehow? I don't know. I'm real curious as to what they're doing inside a Dominion lab. Check it out. We got that Rainer guy trapped in lab one. <laughs> nice. Release the Zerg. Destroy it, boys. We gotta block them out. Sounds like a plan. What's up? Raiders roll. Been waiting on you. Sell me. What's the plan? You can count on me. Talk to me. Break it down. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Sell me. They got out. That ain't good. What's the plan? Talk to me. What's up? What's up? Uh, you can count on me. Uh, What's the plan? Raiders roll. Bring it down. Sell me. Uh, you can count on me. Talk to me. What's up? Break it down. Sounds like a plan. What's the plan? Break it down. You gonna give me orders? Sell me. Hold them back! Don't let them in the lab! Sounds like a plan. What's up? Sell me. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's up? Time to man up. You can count on me. Who wants up? Talk to me. Looks like we got a few options on this terminal to soften them up before we go in. Raiders roll. Sell me. Looks like the same creature was mutated and cloned over and over. Matt, you got any additional info? Stedman's been running some tests, sir. He says the specimen's DNA strands have been artificially spliced. Whoever's in charge of this mess did it deliberately. Matt, we've got to blow this place sky high. No way we can just leave it standing. Well, I'm picking up a strong power signature close to you. There must be a large fusion reactor somewhere in the facility. Perfect. We'll find the reactor, destroy it, then we're out of here. They were testing these weapons on the specimens. What the hell have they been up to here? You gonna give me- Break it down. You can count on me. Time to man up. Raiders roll. What's up? Time to man. What's the plan? You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. What's up? Sell me.
count on me. Give him some pepper. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. You can count. We got trouble ahead. That cargo bay's big enough for heavy units. Time to man up. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Time to man up. You can count on me. Time to man up. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Charge. Time to man up. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. By the What's the plan? Time to man up. Raiders roll. You gonna give me orders? Talk to me. You can count on me. This better be. What's up? Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Time to man up. You can count on me. Time to man up. Break it down. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Kick ass. Sell me. What's up? Sounds like a plan. You can count. What's the plan? Sell me. Talk to me. Sounds like a plan. You read me, Matt? I could use some reinforcements down here. They got something big in the next room, and I don't think it's friendly. You got it, sir. I only have one dropship available. What do you need? Yes, sir. Your reinforcements are inbound. What's the plan? What's up? Raiders roll. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Talk to me. Time to man up. Break it down. Count on me. Where does it hurt? What's the plan? Give him some pen. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Count on me. Raiders roll. Kick ass. This better be good. Sell me. Sounds like a plan. Count on me. 
Count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Time to man up. You can count on me. Time to man up. You can count on me. What's up? Talk to me. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. What's the plan? Break it down. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Sell me. What's up? You can count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. This better be good. Been waiting on you. By the numbers, boy. Armed and ready. What's the plan? Time to man up. Raiders roll. <laughs> Talk to me. Time to man. That bot won't last long. Let's move. Good plan. You gonna give me orders? Sell me. You can count on me. Who wants some? Break it down. <laughs> Talk to me. This better be What's the plan? Sounds like a plan. Sell me. Sir, you're right on top of that power signature. The fusion reactor must be nearby. Well, he did his best for us. Man up. What's up? Talk to me. What's the plan? Break it down. Sell me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. What's up? You can count on me. Out of here right now. Break it down. All right, that's it. We're leaving. Time to man. Sir, you'll have to be careful. Signal's warping, but that critter's breaking the place apart. Who knows what you'll run into? Just what I wanted to hear. Thanks for the heads up. Stay tight on me. Let's move, Raiders. Time to man. Raiders. Move. Raiders roll. Chrono Rift device. Must be based on alien tech. 
is really playing with fire here. Sounds like a plan. Count on me. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. You can kill. Sir, if I'm reading this right, that hybrid is virtually indestructible. Don't try and fight it. Just get out of there. Hell, that debris won't hold it for long. Keep moving. Go, go. The hybrid is on the move. Another warbot. Agent, send it after the hybrid to buy us some time. Count on me. Let's move! Raiders roll. Give me some pepper. Count on me. Raiders roll. Coming apart fast. Hell, that warbot didn't last long. Charge. What's the plan? lost the hybrid signal. It seemed to just disappear. Define disappear. Time to man up. Raiders roll. Man on me. Time to man up. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Man on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Oh! What the hell? Count on me. Raiders roll. E-Bank, get to the transport. Transport? I think we just found our way out of here. Count on me. Sounds like plan. Time we were leaving. Lift off. Matt, can you read me? inbound in some big transport the Dominion was nice enough to supply. Don't shoot us down. What the hell is Manx playing at? Creating his own alien super soldiers by the looks of it. He's found a way to hybridize Zerg and Protoss somehow. Don't look like he's housebroken him yet. At least the lab's been trashed. Yeah, but it was only one lab. Who's to say how many more he set up? This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Donnie Vermillion remains on sick leave. Get better, Donnie. Coming up later, we begin a 10-part expose on corruption in the Dominion government. How high does it go? Tonight, however, I'd like to return to the topic of Tarsonis and the day it fell. Families ripped apart, literally, when the savage Zerg arrived. Mountains of dead bodies, deserted cities. Let's play that clip again. I will rule this sector or see it burn to ashes. Stop! Around. Wait! You can't just come in here! By order of Dominion Security, this newscast is terminated. We finally got you, Arcturus. Nice to see the media taking shots at you for a change. Whatever you found down there makes me afraid. What was it? Something monstrous. A Zer Protoss hybrid. It must have been a powerful sigh for you to feel it scream from all the way up here. Searing, blinding, like feeling the sun burn in your face with your eyes squeezed shut. I never felt a thing like that before. I hope I never do again.
What in hell's name did you stir up in that lab, cowboy? Minx is taking a plane god literally now. He made that thing in a whole heap more like it. And who knows how many other labs he's got out there. Great. Like we ain't got enough to handle with the Zerg. Now we got Minx breeding his own damn monsters too. Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead world called Zill. Apparently they sent in a specialist team, but they lost contact with them two days ago. Their bad luck, I guess. Figure we'll get hazard pay for this one. So here's the deal. This place is a morgue. Whatever used to live in these ruins up and died millions of years ago. Before they went missing, the Mobius team reported artifact radiation emanating from that big old hunk of rock over yonder. They brought a big damn laser drill to burn the way in. Laser drill? That thing's a monster. If the Mobius team had access to that kind of hardware, I hate to think about what could have wiped them out. Reckon we'll find out soon enough, partner. Watch your corners, boys. We don't know who cleaned this place out. What so? More terrid minions. The mysteries of this place are forbidden. You will pay for your transgressions with your lives. Okay. At least we know what happened to the other expedition. Aye, aye, Hold up there. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. Swan, you promised me siege tanks. Where are they? Outstanding. Settle down, Hotshot. There comes them. These babies will knock those cannons down with a nice safe Just like the old ones. When you put them in siege mode, they get increased range and firepower. They can't move in siege mode, so if you need to reposition them, just switch them back into tank mode. You got it? Been waiting on you. Let's get some siege tanks deployed on the high ground. They can pound that Protoss stalker before it even gets close to us. Mobius base local net accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Transferring control of base structures to you, Commander. Fired up. 174 gigawatts. The power of the sun at your fingertips. Now get it aimed at that door and let's get cutting. Laser output is good. Drilling will take some time, but there's no other way into the temple. Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. So we set a perimeter and protect the drill until we're through. I'm just glad we've got siege tanks. Sir, I've managed to access what's left of the Mobius Expedition sensor net. I'll route it through your map so you can see what the Taldarim are up to. That's a serious. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. You would desecrate that which belongs to the gods. This will not be borne by the faithful. Sir, those are Protoss Archons. If they get too close, our men won't stand a chance. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. See if you can use it against the Protoss. All right, you heard the man. Swing that laser around. We can use it to drive back the Protoss. Huh? Move it! The laser drill has breached the door's outer layer. Armed and ready. Alert. Enemy air units on approach vector. Damn it. Air units. 
It's nothing. Those are transports. Use the laser to knock them down fast. Sir, I'm picking up the energy signatures of several Protoss relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Well, there's time where you blast them free with a laser drill. I bet Stedman would love to study them. SCB ready. Ready to plunder. Sir, more air units inbound. We gotta take them out, or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Now cutting through the door's thermal barrier. Been waiting on you. There's another wave of air units heading your way. These guys just won't give up. Stick it to them, boys. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Remote field defeated. Our SCP is under attack. SCVs are under attack. SCV ready! Alright. Thermal barrier breached. The laser drill is now cutting through the core. They seek to devour the legacy of the gods. Destroy them. Breach of the doorway core is imminent. Structured access imminent. It is our sacred duty to stop these defilers. Burn them to ashes. Yet one spark of hope remains. 
you will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save Wait us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Ehan crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. And for Zara tools uncovered, it was desperate for me to see it too. Well, here goes nothing. I'm pleased to see these things haven't blown up the ship. Yet. Uh, sir, given the visual similarity between the various pieces, have you considered that they might combine to create a larger, more distinct object? With everything else going on, Stedman, I couldn't care less what they do. Just that we get paid when we finally hand them over to the Mobius boys. heavy metal now that we got siege tanks yes sir the comforting thunder of the big guns well comforting when they're on our side yeah these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move and reinforced armor so long as they still got the range in siege mode the rest is just gravy between siege tanks and bunkers we can hold the line against just about anything This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion. The battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? Well, that's gonna be a bit tricky. I hear the Zerg have attacked the Mobius Research Center on Tirador. I don't get it, though. Well, Sequina Blades after. Ain't no artifacts there. If those eggheads can't hold out till we get there, we may never know. Upload the data to the star map. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned rescue mission. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portals. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. You ain't gonna believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. 
Seems your Queen of Blades figured out who's been paying us to snatch up all them artifacts. Mobius's head honcho, Dr. Narud, claims the Zerg are attacking his main research campus on Tirador. He can't evacuate his people until all their artifact research is safe. Ah, oh, Commander Reyna. Thanks to stars you've come. You had a sterling reputation as a marshal many years ago, and I know you'll do your best to help us. Yeah, well, that was all a long time ago, Doctor. Looks like you've got one heck of a Zerg problem here. Where do you need us? We're ready to evacuate, but none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates of the remaining artifacts. The fate of the entire sector could hang in the balance. Class 12 side pattern detected. Recommend extreme caution. Kerrigan. All right then, Doc. Our timetable's shorter than we thought. We gotta move. Analysis of the Queen of Blades search pattern complete. Calculating her ETA to the closest data call now. SCV ready. You can't leave well enough alone, can you, Jim? It was stupid of you to come here. I don't plan on staying long, darling. But I'll be damned before I let you get hold of those artifacts. I'm giving you control of our medevacs, Commander. You can use them to transport your men around the city and avoid most of the Zerg. Ready for dust off. To me. This be good. The Raiders are here. We're saved. By the numbers, boys. That's fine. Life flight here. Been waiting. Over here. Up on the roof. SCV ready. Hey, hey! Over here! Right, Let's see you drop by. I'm sort of low on ammo. Yes, sir! Big job, huh? Assistance required. What are you up to, Jim? I can sense you're trying to keep something from me. Mobius data cores. You won't get the rest of them. Oh, hell. At least she doesn't know where to find the other cores. We better get to the next one fast. Brutalisk. Stedman wanted one of those things to research. Reckon we can oblige him. Time. Sir, you better do something about that Nidus worm before our base gets overrun. This better be good. This better be good. You never could recognize a lost cause, could you, Chen? I've 
passing through your Dr. Nauru's pathetic charade. I know the artifacts really are. And they will be mine. Whatever they are, Kerrigan, I sure as hell ain't letting you have them. That Queen of Blades really is quite a nuisance, isn't she? We couldn't reach the data cores! Help us out! Ah, don't get your knickers in a bunch. Sir, another Nida Swarm has emerged close to our base. Mineral field depleted. This better be good. Hey, Raiders! Come pick us up! Hey, Raider. We saw some movement over at Rob's guns. There might be some survivors in there. Confirmed. The final data call has been destroyed. We should evacuate immediately. Doctor, you want to tell me why the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts so damn bad? She fears their power, just as she fears the Zelnaga who created them. The Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zed, Commander. They were the gods of their time. the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Jim? What the hell's going on up there? cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. 
What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Where she got left behind? Or where she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you. Lockwell for UNN. The elusive Queen of Blades was spotted on Tirador recently. Dr. Emil Narud, head of the renowned Mobius Foundation, had a run-in with the alien queen, but is currently unavailable for comment. In a statement, Dr. Narud credited Rainer's Raiders with keeping the Queen of Blades from achieving Kate, her... I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a breaking story. Apparently, uh, um, go, to, go, to, go to commercial, please. Uh, commercial. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child at PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. <laughs> He's a bad, bad man, that Tychus. He got a lot to hide. You think he's setting this up? His missions have been leading us straight to Kerrigan. Maybe you and Kerrigan keep running into each other because you both want the same thing. But Tychus, there's something else he don't want you to know. I can't see what. Just watch your back. Always remember that he's a force of destruction, that one. A stone killer. See you, sir. All available missions are ready for your perusal on the star map. Matt, I... Hell, just... Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I've been thinking about Tirador. And you know, there's gotta be better ways to make a fast buck than diving headlong into an alien invasion. If it gets too hairy for you, just try and think of the money. I'm trying, old buddy. I'm trying real hard. in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Ehan crystal, so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. Zeratul, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Raynor, long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. 
My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan, where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Oblivion together. Never. Address me. My allegiance is yours. 
The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. Calling. This chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prison. To answer for In the service of ire. Honor command. I Glory. To the firstborn. En Arudin Rashaka. My burdens weigh heavily. Higher will be restored. En Arudin Rashaka. That spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. Overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than witness the final agonizing moments of your species? So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. Oh, Shakuras. Presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. You address me? Permit us to destroy their defenses before we proceed. I am the heart of darkness. I will be redeemed. We are. You address me. I will erase the demon. must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Honor command. Shall I Service of ire. We must not hesitate. Shozak Maknol. Sukdash Salak. I will 
fulfill my calling. Glory to the firstborn. My burdens weigh heavily. here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. Voice of the Eclipse. Wise. I will erase the demons of the past. End of the Address me. I will be redeemed. State the Shozak. You would my burdens weigh heavily. I will erase the demons. Shozak. Your hope is an illusion, old fool. If you can so easily read my mind, Kerrigan, you'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. We should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. As you say. I serve for now. Unto God. I will be. State thy bidding. My bird. I am the. Shozak Maknol. Acid when they die. 
Stalkers, take them out from a distance. Sorry, 
tool has destroyed their words. Press on! I've placed the Ultralisk in a void prison. Bring it down, Karas. You require my skills. I will be redeemed. I am the heart of I will go. That is the void. My burdens. The Queen of Blades seeks to pervert this world with that hatchery. I must destroy it. In the voice of the Eclipse. Shozak Maknol. Honor commands. Higher will I am the heart. You address me. I I will erase the demons of the state thy bidding. Shozak Maknol. And you address me. Glory to the firstborn. We must not hesitate. The scales will be balanced. Must act. Oblivion descends. You acquire my skills. It is done. All of Kerrigan's hatcheries are destroyed. There is yet hope for this world. My burdens wait. I will erase the demons of the past. My burdens weigh heavily. Final piece of the prophecy. It speaks of one who shall break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might kill the prophecy's layer, Seratul. But you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. We cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. Prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Seratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. In the service, I must get to the Void Seeker before the Zerg overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. shall become one with the Kala. I must get to the Void Seeker and preserve the prophecy. I will not let my brother's sacrifice be in vain. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret. 
interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. Today, I'm speaking with Crown Prince Valerian. Highness, what do you have to say about the allegations that recently came to light regarding your father's corruption? Kate, there's no need to belabor that topic. Highness, I think the question on everyone's mind is, do you have a special lady in your life? Truth be told, Kate, I've had a crush on you for many years. I, um, what? <laughs> but in all seriousness, with the Zerg invasion, there's little time for such things. I've been studying military tactics under General Warfield, and whatever spare time I have is devoted to statecraft. It's my goal to be the best Emperor our people could ask for. When the time comes, of course. Wonderful. Now I've got two of them to worry about. How did you become such good buddies with those freaky Protoss? All I hear is they kill Terrans like you and me on sight. Some of them would. But some others would fight to the death protecting people like us. I helped them defend their home world from the Zerg during the first war. When Kerrigan came back leading the swarm, I helped him out again. The real big on loyalty. Damn, Jimmy. Almost sounds like you respect them. I wouldn't expect you to understand, Tychus. Good to see you, brother. I've been... Wait. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen into the spirit world. The Protoss. He gave you a crystal. And now you've been seeing what he's seen. That ain't nothing to do with you. Stay out of my head, Tosh. Have it your way. But you want to tread careful when you go looking into the beyond. If you need me, you know where I'll be. How long was I down in the lab, Matt? You've been gone for hours, sir. You've been in the lab all that time? I used the Eon Crystal Zeratul gave me. I'd swear it only lasted a few minutes. So vivid. Zeratul's been searching for a Zelnaga prophecy about the end of the universe. There's more. I just haven't got to it yet. I gathered allies, and we made our way to the forbidden archive world of Zaku. There, a triumvirate of mystic preservers awaited us. And in the shadows, something else was watching. And waiting. All right, Zeratul, old buddy, you got your mysterious prophecy. Now let's see what your preservers made of it. My quest to decipher the prophecy took me to the forbidden archive world of Zakul. Here, three immortal preservers guarded ancient knowledge. Only they could transcribe the prophetic fragments. I needed to seek them out quickly. It is strangely silent here. Yet these structures are intact. With power, they would be functional.
mighty spirits of the Preservers are imprisoned close by. We must find them. There are many abandoned structures in this place that we can make use of. They merely need their power restored by the construction of a few well-placed pylons. The preservers you seek serve a higher power now, Dark One. Higher power? What could have corrupted these Protoss so? Truly, something foul has taken hold of this sacred place. A robotics facility. This structure may prove useful to us. Sadarik. Who created this atrocity? Come, my slave. The time has come to give you your slave. I return to serve. My thanks, mighty one. is draining the preservers to survive. I must free them before it is too late. this place of evil. Command us. Some secrets must remain Liberation is 
Ready yourself, noble warrior. We confront a terrible evil this day. The spirits of the preservers are entombed within. We must break them open immediately. a part to play in this prophecy. I must seek out the Overmind's final resting place, our ancient homeworld of Ayr. Level 800, Elite Torrent Chieftain is back with a new album of pulse-pounding rock that will shake the galaxy. Rock out with such hits as Rogues Do It From Behind, Terran Up The Night, Another Hydralisk Bites The Dust, Saturday Night's All Right For New King, Lucy In The Sky With Mutus, Every Rose Has Its Thor, Touring In Your Galaxy, No! Protoss has to show ya. The memories shine through ya as clear as day. I saw a, a hybrid. Something unnatural. It was trying to corrupt the Protoss preservers. Who would have sent it there? Who controls something like that? The one that made them for sure. That was just the first of many. Dark Harbingers, man. Soon they'll be beyond numbering. And the stars will weep at what comes after. How could you know all this? I don't. I just feel it be true. Welcome back, sir. Learn anything new from the crystal? Something I wish I hadn't seen. You remember that Zerg Protoss hybrid at the lab we raided? Hard to forget. That thing was an abomination. Well, Zeratul took the prophecy fragments he had to a temple, library, kind of both, I guess. A hybrid had already taken over the place. Just how many of these things are out there? What's up, cowboy? You know, you're looking kind of rough lately. Rougher than usual, I mean. I've, uh, got a lot going on right now, Swan. You know how it is. Yeah, sure. You know, you might want to try laying off the sauce. And get some shut-eye once in a while, huh? Thanks, Mom. I'll get right on that. I return to our ruined homeworld of Iron. The Zerg infestation still covered much of our beloved world. The desiccated remains of the Overmind were still there. A grim reminder of battles lost and battles won. I remember the fall of Ire. Don't much like the idea of having to see it all again. Guess there's nothing for it. At the very apex of its victory against us, the Zerg Overmind grew. 
overconfident. Now, all that was left of the mighty Overmind was a twisted, withered husk. I needed to understand whatever memories lingered within the creature's rotting mass. Only by making contact with the gargantuan tendrils connected directly to its cortex could I learn its secrets. Yet its countless minions, which seemed to be feeding from its dead husk, would prove somewhat problematic. I must find a way to establish a foothold and summon reinforcements to keep the Zerg at bay. Glory to the Firstborn. Ah, this faithful observer has kept watch since the evacuation. Its abilities will certainly prove useful now. My burdens. I will erase the demons of the past. You address me? In the service, some of these abandoned structures remain functional. We shall make use of them. This ancient beacon still thrums with power. I wonder... Ah, I've heard tales of the mighty Colossi sealed away beneath ire. The beacon must have awoken these fearsome guardians. The Zerg perceive a threat to their dead master. The Zerg will keep coming until we are dead. I must find the Overmind's Cortex and discover what I can from it. These warp gates appear to be functional. Perhaps there's a chance. We must be prepared to defend our base. The Zerg are on the move. I will be redeemed. The mission is in peril. Adumtoria, Zeratul. We were trapped within the gate's energy matrix when it was deactivated. You have our thanks. You must construct additional pylons. I am here, my boys. The first overmine tendril. I sense... pain. Surprise. Mineral field. The second over my tendril. I sense death and joy. Third over mine tendril. I sense satisfaction in a plan set in motion long ago. And fear of the future. You require my skills. Mineral field. Base is under attack. Let our enemy know. Over my temple, I sense an 
understand. This cursed overmind. I have never tasted death, Zeratu, nor shall I. But that is a tale for another time. I have come to tell you of this creature's courage. Courage? It was an abomination. forced upon them, the destruction of our people. The Overmind was formed with thought and reason, but not free will. It screamed and raged within the prison of its own mind. Who did this? its all-consuming directive. It created a chance, a hope of salvation. The Queen of Blades. Madness. Only she can free the Zerg from slavery, and in so doing, save all that is. Understand, brother. Forget what you know, Zeratul. The Overmind saw a vision. The end of all things. And now, you must see it too. No. This vision. I cannot bear it. Stop! Tonight on UNN, another world has broken into open revolt, and Emperor Manx still refuses to give any interviews. Is the Dominion falling apart around us? I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. In this reporter's opinion... Oh, Minsk is in deep now. Burn for all I care. You look haunted. You've been seen into the spirit world, and you learn something you don't like. It's Carrigan. Seems the Overmind made Kerrigan to free the Zerg. Something that put him on a collision course with the Protoss. It's all gone wrong. Everything's twisted. And there's something out there that's set to destroy us all. Zerg, Protoss, he's a strong recess. How terrible. How powerful is something that plays with their feats? You know, I've been watching the logs. Those damn Protoss are still way ahead of us. I can't believe some of the stunts they can pull off. Tell me about it. They've learned some new tricks since the last time we fought. I mean, come on. Since when could they warp in guys just anywhere? I thought they needed some kind of gateway at least. Not just anywhere. They need a pylon or another power source close by. Still, they've been working to improve their tech just like us. Damn, Matt. I don't even know what to make of this last vision from the crystal. 
Zeratul was looking for more clues about the end of the universe. But this time, he was on Ire. Ire? What was he looking for? He was trying to find out why the Overmind made the Queen of Blades in the first place. She's the one that's gonna destroy the universe? No. That's just it. I think she's the only one that can save it. I don't think I want to see any vision of the Overminds. But if Kerrigan's involved, I need to know. On a distant shadowed world, the Protoss will make their final stand. Their heroes will gather. Their forces will be marshaled, and they will die. Bravely, but still, they will die. And my Zerg will be slaves to the hybrid. All will bow before the power of the Fallen One. Protoss brethren, heed me. The last twilight has fallen. The galaxy burns around us. The Terrans have been consumed. We are all that stands against the Shadow. But if we are to meet our end this day, then we will do so as one! Antaro Tassadar! Impeccable, Admiral Varun. When the enemy takes to the air, we will need your support. The Zerg perform their function as I planned. My hybrid are proof of this. Now, the last of the Protoss will fulfill their function. In death. Oh, shall we 
remade in my name. Behold, my greatest creation. Salandus, unleash the full power of your forces. There may be no tomorrow. Entaro Tassadar, Zaratul. If only we had acted sooner. We are one with the shadows. Yeah. 
Yes, you mistook her for the true threat. Friend Raynor, you now bear witness to the truth. There is a malevolent presence within the void that seeks to destroy everything we hold dear. Could this fallen one be as El Naga? After so long, could the gods themselves seek our destruction? And Kerrigan. I can hardly believe the wretched Queen of Blades will prevent the destruction of all that we know. Raynor, you may soon hold Kerrigan's fate in your hands. I know only that she must live. Be wary, old friend. The Hounds of the Void are on the hunt. for some down-home cooking out there in the space lanes, come on down to Bubba's Gas and Grub. We got two for Tuesdays, featuring barbecue muta wings. Also, free plasma charge with each villa. Bubba's Gas and Grub, your space trucker home away from home. Damn, brother. You look like you could use a drink. I saw the last vision Zeratul put into the crystal was a look into the future. Final battle against the hybrid. I'm getting. Somehow, Kerrigan's the key to preventing it. Who knows how the wheel turns? Cycles upon cycles. This much I know. Those that see the future best take heed. It's both a gift and a curse. But is it cast in stone? That's what I need to know. Who knows? I've heard you say we are who we choose to be. If that be true, the future cannot be fixed. Well, what the hell, cowboy? You look like crap. You been thinking about that girl again? Kinda. 
I just got some bad news about what might happen if we can't save her. Uh, no use worrying about what might happen, if you ask me. You want me to help, you just let me know. You look shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead. Killed by... us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. <laughs>